Good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream. I'm going to do your November the 19th spiritual principle a day in a meditation. I hope you're doing well. Let's go ahead and get into the meditation. The title of today's meditation, Healing with Empathy. One of the benefits of reaching out is finding that our most painful experiences can help someone else. That comes from the Living Clean book, chapter one, Growing Pains. Being clean doesn't give us immunity from life's struggles. Fortunately for us, we don't have to navigate life on our own. When we ask for support and allow people to be there for us, we access perhaps the fellowship's greatest resource, each other. If clean time and other successes have caused us to lose touch with this asset, life's difficulties can provide a gentle nudge in its direction. When we summon the courage to reach out for support, our NA communities respond with empathy. It helps to have someone to lean on, to sit with as we sit with our feelings, to cheer us on as we put one foot in front of the other, to empathize as we heal, regroup, and restart. Our fellow members understand our urge to run away or to find some temporary relief in food, sex, or spending. We can identify with that impulse to shut down or be massively controlling or lean into other character defects to manage our troubles and feelings. We empathize because we've been there emotionally or at least in the neighborhood. We can connect deeply and share the burden of each others' sorrows and emotional pain. Even if we don't have direct experience with a specific way in which life has shown up for a fellow member, we're all capable of listening, bringing a hot dish or taking the kids out for ice cream. Sometimes a reminder that there will be sunshine after the rain helps us get through the day. When we share with an addict in pain, we're able to get outside ourselves. The empathy we experience creates identification, gratitude, and perspective. The therapeutic value of one addict helping another is beneficial to both the helper and the help. We know this because we've been both. One member's comment to another captures this dynamic. Someone told me that my struggle will give me the strength I'd be needing down the line. That strength was for you. And when my experience helped you, I got to heal on a whole new level. Your call for help was a real mitzvah. The well of empathy runs deep in NA, and I will keep returning to it. I will share my burdens with another addict today knowing it will provide a source of healing for both of us. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the wee version of serenity prayer. Moment of silence now, please. Thank you, God. Grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom know the difference just for today please and thank you well now welcome to the new subscriber i just had a new subscriber join today i want to say thank you first initial r um i appreciate you and i'm glad that you're here with us so today we're talking about healing with empathy empathy is the type of thing as we discuss in the just for today is something that you feel and it's very important for newcomers to know that we're not trying to take away the uniqueness of who you are as an individual when we say we've been there, right? We're not trying to take away the weight of your pain or minimize it in any kind of way when we say we can relate, right? In the most general sense, 
and in a non-general sense too, we can relate because many of us have been there emotionally. Maybe the circumstances aren't the same, but the emotions we walk away with have been the same, right? The feeling of having been a complete failure, the feeling of hating the world, but needing it, right? <laughs> hating the very individuals that you need, living in sketchy places, dealing with the environment of our, um, you know, the, the environment that our actively using had, has landed us in. There's many people, you know, the recovery home I run for men, there's many people that have stopped using and are just waiting on an opportunity to get in out of the cold, right? There's all of these qualifications for getting into certain places and they've stopped using and they're still in an environment that's wet, right? They're in an environment that's sketchy, but they're not picking up. Not that it's easy for them not to, but they have seen, even in the fire, I can stay. I can stay positive. I can get to meetings. I can bounce. I can meeting hop. I used to bar hop, right? Go from one bar to the next. You can meeting hop. You can go from one meeting to the next all day long. And when you can't get to a physical in-person meeting, you can jump on, you know, the virtual program, uh, Zoom, or in the rooms for a meeting. There's so many different things, so many different options that we have today as a direct result of the pandemic that we just came through. That we, literally, the meeting that I host on is a 24 seven international virtual meeting, right? You can make a meeting any hour of the day. You can be surrounded by filth and still clean. And now hopefully as we stay clean over a period of time, we get an opportunity to change our environment. But the point is, is that we're not minimizing that. We're just saying to you, you can heal with our empathy. Let us love you till you learn to love yourself. Let our empathy be there for you. Let our desire to truly know what it's like for the therapeutic value of one addict helping another being without parallel, we want to know that feeling. And it only comes when we get an opportunity to share our time, our energy, our hearts, our experience, our strengths, and our hopes. Today, heal with empathy. And if you haven't been healing with it, it's okay. But today, make it up in your mind to either be more empathetic or to allow those that are showing empathy in. And that starts oftentimes with, with making a phone call. Making a phone call, letting someone know, hey, not in good space. These kids are driving me up the wall. I don't want to yell at them. I don't want to put my hands on them. And I don't want to hide in my bedroom and use because I can't deal with them right now. I'm just not in a good headspace. Is there any way you can come help me with them? And let me run some errands that I need to take care of or can you come help me with this laundry? Or can you watch them, babysit them while I go do the laundry somewhere else? Or can you take them out of the house and let me um, clean for a couple hours free of children asking for their needs to be met? I am, I'm just exhausted. I need you. And let them tell you what they can do, when they can do it. They told me a closed mouth doesn't get fed. But as soon as you open up your mouth and let us know what's going on, the sooner the potential for help through empathy, healing through empathy is there. Today, let's have a great day.
My name is Mighty Stream. I'm going to have an awesome day. I'm looking forward to declutterizing and taking stuff to donation uh, sites and stuff like that. I'm looking forward to, to my day. And I hope that you are too. Talk to you soon.